I'm so glad to see everybody here today for story time. Yay! Hi, everybody. Are you ready to sing our Hello Friends song? Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Yay. So I want you to do this with me. Can you do this little rhyme with me? Can you put your hands up like this? Okay. All right. So this is the sun. So we have a little bit of sun. And now do this with your fingers and a little bit of rain. Now let's pick the weeds. Go like this and like you're picking out the weeds. Pick, 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 pick. Pull up all the weeds. Now, can you put your fingers like this behind your other hand? Like this. Our flowers will grow all in a row from teeny tiny seeds. And I've got a little flannel board about flowers. Excuse me while I set this up here. Okay. So I've got this flower. This is a daffodil. She's kind of pretty, isn't she? So I've got one little daffodil with nothing much to do. And up popped another. And now, how many are there? Show me, show me fingers, how many are there? Two, that's right. Two little daffodils were smiling at a, uh, who knows what that is? Z the bee. And up popped another one. And now there are, how many? Three. Three little daffodils were growing by a, uh, by the door. And what do you think? Up popped another one. And now we have four. That's right, four. Four little daffodils were happy to be alive when up came another one. And that made five. Five little daffodils were wearing golden crowns and they danced in the breeze in their green satin gowns. The end. I like that story about daffodils. Did you like that story? I know. So did you bring with you today your glasses? Can you put your glasses on like this? Oh, I see you guys. Got on your glasses. What about a book? Put your hands together like this and let's make a book. Are you ready? Let's open the book and let's see what's inside. Ready? Oh, it's a bug. Close the book. I think it was a garden bug. Hmm. Should we look again? Should we look? Okay, let's look again. Let's see. It's a pink snake. Oh, close that book. I do not like snakes. Oh, should we try one more time? Should we look one more time? Let's see. It's a pretty flower. I like that one better than a bug or a snake, right? Okay, let's sing the song. Ready? These are my glasses, this is my book. I put on my glasses and open up the book. Now I read, 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 and I look, look, look. I put down the glasses and close up the book. Now, the book today is called Thank You Garden. And it's written by Liz 
Garten Scanlon and illustrated by Simone Shin. And I'm reading this book today with permission from Simon and Schuster Publishers. Um, Beach Lane Books is the um, extension of that. So here we go. Can you see pretty good? Garden ready, garden new. Hmm. Garden, so much work to do. Everybody's busy in this garden, aren't they? Garden rock and garden water. Garden son and garden daughter. I think, I think this is going to be a nice garden. What do you think? What kind of garden? I bet they're going to grow lots of flowers or maybe good things to eat. Let's see. Garden dig and garden play. Garden filling up the day. Well, they've got flowers. They kind of look like the flowers that I just had, don't they? Garden bed and garden plot. Garden proper, garden not. This one looks a little messy, doesn't it? I think they're having fun playing in the dirt. Garden hardly makes a sound, growing slowly underground. Do you know what grows underground in the garden on the plants? Does anybody? Maybe the roots of the plants grow under the ground and then the leaves come up on the top. Yeah. Sometimes rainy, sometimes dry. Garden soaking up the sky. Garden path meets garden gate. I think they have, I think that these gardens are in a community garden. Garden wait and wait and wait. Hmm. Uh oh. Garden frog. Hmm. And garden worm. Oh, it's pink. Oh my goodness. Is that kind of like the, the snake maybe? Maybe that's a baby snake and not really a worm. What do you think? Like in my, when I opened up my book before. And we have bees to go bzzz. Oh, garden berries, beets and peas. Okay, so who likes strawberries? Raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Do you like beets? Maybe. Do you like peas? Yeah. <laughs> Garden growing like a child, rosy, leggy, fresh, and wild. Wild in the wild in this muddy mess. Garden, thank you. Garden, yes. What are they doing? Hmm, are they, they look like they're having a really good picnic. Do you think that the picnic is the food they grew in the garden? Maybe, maybe, who knows? So now I'm gonna do something a little different. I have my literacy tip. So I'm going to hold the jar up and I want you guys to reach in and pull out a piece of paper. Can you do that? Reach in. Reach in. Are you going to reach in, Paisley? Oh, there you go. And now, oh, look, I've got the paper. This tip on this piece of paper says, oh, tell stories where vegetables and fruits come from. Hmm. So you can make up stories about where vegetables and fruits come from, do you think? 
maybe. Yep. Especially you can do that when you're eating the vegetables and the fruit. And simple stories are as interesting and important as the stories that are found in books. So sometimes it's fun to make up these stories, isn't it? Okay, so now let's dig up our garden. Can you dig with me in the garden? Let's go like this, like we're digging. Dig, 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 dig. Now hold your hand like this and open up your fingers and let's plant the seeds. We're gonna poke, 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 plant the seeds. And then we got to rake, got to rake up all the weeds and rake the ground real nice. So rake, 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 rake. Oh, pull up those weeds. Pull, 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 get all those weeds. Hmm, now let's wait and watch. <sighs> it's so long to wait and watch, but pretty soon we know, guess what's gonna happen? The garden's going to sprout and it's going to grow, grow, grow till you're really tall, right? Okay, so I have a couple of things to announce for story time before we finish story time. Um, I want to talk a little bit about thousand books before kindergarten. I know at least one of you has done the thousand books before kindergarten. Um, it's a program that we're doing in the library. Um, it's a fun and exciting way to uh, start your child on the path for success. So any child from birth to five years old can participate. You can join by signing up on Beanstack or come to the library and pick up a brochure. And if you have a problem signing up or anything, just come to one of us and we can help you with that. And then you keep track of everything you read, um, every book you read, and even the ones that we listen to in story time, and even the ones that we read over and over and over and over and over again, you can log them each and every time. And when you get to your thousand books, and it won't take as long as you think, bring your log and your child into the library and we'll put their handprint on the literacy tree and give you um, a certificate. The other thing I want to mention is that starting next week, we're going to have some very limited in-person programs in the libraries. And we're gonna start next Tuesday, the, um, the 16th um, at 9.30 at West Osceola. Miss Lisa's gonna have a rhythm and rhyme story time. So you get to go in and see Miss Lisa and do story time, yay! And on Tuesday or on Wednesday afternoons, Miss Crystal at St. Cloud Library will have um, a homeschool laboratory and that will be at 4.30 on Wednesday afternoons. And then the following week on the 24th of March, I'll start doing a program in the Buena Ventura Lakes Library, um, another rhythm and rhyme at four, at, I'm sorry, 9.30 in the morning. Now these programs are very limited to how many people we can have. So, you know, um, try to get there. If you're gonna go get there early so you can get your spot. And now let's get ready for our goodbye songs. Okay, so can you do this with me? Put your hand like this. Ready? One potato, two potato, cover up your eyes. Three potato, boo! Boo, pick a boo. Four potato, five potato, I love you. Can you hold up one finger? One finger standing on its own. Two fingers, now they're not alone. Three fingers went out to have fun. And four fingers were playing in the sun. Five fingers, this one is your thumb. And they all wave goodbye because story time is done. So we'll sing goodbye, ready? Good. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. 
it's time to say goodbye.